Now that we've successfully cloned our project and it's up and running, now we're finally ready to install Angular Material, and that's what we'll do in this video. And to do that, you'll, you'll want to go to the official website at this link here, and then click on Guides, and then Get Started. And this is a really good guide on walking you through the installation process for Angular Material. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to just double check to make sure that we have the Angular CLI installed in our local system. We'll double check that. And then we'll run this command here to install Angular Material. And then we're gonna view the changes that were made to our application after we ran the command. And then we'll just test it within one of our components by setting up a sample component just to make sure that we were successful at installing Angular Material. So let's first install by running this command here, this ng command, so I'll copy this, and also check to make sure that we have our Angular CLI installed in our system. Here in the command line, the first command we'll run is ng version, and this is to check to make sure we have the Angular CLI installed and we have the correct version. If you're seeing this, it's a good sign, Angular CLI. Also, you wanna make sure your versions are correct, so I'm currently running Angular 19, and we're working with Angular Material 19. So these two should line up really well. And if you're not seeing this Angular CLI, let's say you're seeing a message like it doesn't recognize what NG is, it probably means you don't have the Angular CLI installed and set up. And if you don't, you want to go back to this documentation here and follow this link here, this Angular CLI, and follow the instructions for setting up your Angular CLI. So if you have it installed, and you are running the correct version, it means you're in good shape and you're ready to move on to the next step. So I'll clear this out. And now we're ready to install the Angular Material Library. And I'll paste in that snippet I copied off of the documentation. And it's gonna double check and ask you, are you sure you wanna install this? And I'll say yes. And Angular Material gives you a bunch of pre-built themes that you could pick from. We're going to be changing this in the future, but for now, I'll just install the first one that they give you, the first option. And yes, I would like the Angular Material typography styles. We'll use them. And we successfully installed all of our packages. And here are all the changes that were made throughout the application. Let's view all the changes that were made throughout the application. I'll clear this out and close this down. And then we'll look inside the source control and here are all of our changes. And if we look at the first one, the angular.json, this is where we're pulling in our pre-built theme that we selected in the command line. And later on, we will be changing this when we create our own custom theme, but this is fine for now. And then inside the package.json, we should see the packages that this installed when we ran the command and the material, angular material and the Angular CDK, so this looks great. Then inside the index.html, we pull in a couple styles, style sheets for like the icons, and then also the fonts. And then it adds this class to our body tag, the, the matte typography class. And this is for inheriting the material design typography styles by default. And then inside the styles sheet, it resets a couple styles for our body in HTML. And that's pretty much it for the changes. So to actually use this now, let's update something within our application. So if we go inside of the app pages dashboard and open up the TS file and the HTML. And to test to make sure that we're actually pulling in Angular material, we'll update these buttons to use Angular material. Currently, our buttons are looking like this, then they're not looking that great, and we'll change that now. If we go to the documentation, and then select the components, and then select the button button, and for now, we'll just use the first one right here, this basic one, just for testing purposes. So inside of our application, I'll bring in the module first thing inside of the TS file, and then since this is a standalone component, we'll make sure we add it to the imports array. And that's all we'll need to do for the TS file for now. And then inside of the button HTML, we'll use the mat button directive. 
And this is just for testing, but I'll go ahead and I'll add them to all four buttons. And now let's view this in the browser. Okay, great. We successfully installed Angular Material. You could tell just by looking at the buttons. You could also tell that the font has changed as well. Now that we successfully installed Angular Material, let's work on different ways we can switch out our theme. Let's say, for example, you don't want a blue color. You want to switch to a red theme. We could easily do that in Angular Material, and we'll work on that next.